and welcome to Beauty Talk. My name is Linda and if you don't know me already, I love everything about skincare, makeup and beauty in general. And today I have this video empties. So this is not all of my empties, but I've decided to only talk about what can fit in this basket. Otherwise, the videos are just going to be super, super long. So I'm going to be talking about these empties and if you're like me and you like watching these empties videos where you can see people talk about all the products that they've been using up and they also give you a mini review and then you might enjoy this video. So if you're interested in seeing all the products I've finished up, well, it's more than more than a month ago. This is, I have months that I've finished some of these products. But if you're interested in seeing which products there are, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like my video so that I know you like this type of content and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel that means a lot to me because it really helps the YouTube algorithm so that my video can be seen for, my video can be seen by more people also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok I also share other beauty tips there but also a little bit of my personal life in case you're interested in seeing that so now let's get into it all right, as I mentioned, I'm just going to be talking about all the products that I could fit in this bin. And that is because, you know, in the past, I don't know, four months or so, I've been piling up a bunch of products that I finished up and it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. If I were to make a video, it would be like, I don't know, two hours long. If I were to do a video of all the empties that I realistically have. Um, but to make this video a little bit more, you know, watchable <laughs> i've decided just to talk about everything that i can fit here and it's kind of like the oldest things that i've finished and just for you to know uh the video is going to be categorized i'm going to be talking about different categories and it's also going to have timestamps in case you don't like you know some categories you're not interested in watching you can just skip over and go to the category that you are interested in and i think i'm going to start of this empties videos with the uh, hair care products so the first hair care product that i have is this one and it is called sorry it's from the brand grow gorgeous and it's called volume root stimulating primer so i have actually finished up two but i decided i'll mention just one right now i'll leave the other one to mention in another video and uh, I started using this early in the summer. This uh, I started using to kind of see if it could help my hair grow any faster or, or just, you know, make it more healthy uh, and thicker. Um, I don't know <laughs> if it really did that. It's hard to say. And I think I really need to make like a proper review of this product like a very a dedicated uh, review if you are interested i will do that um however what i can tell you right now is that i don't really know if it really worked for me however i think it's a really nice kind of serum that you use before you wash your hair you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wash your hair as normal and it's supposed to stimulate hair growth um i think it's more like it's just going to support um the hair growth and it can be like a nice sort of like little scalp treatment if you wish and it has some some interesting ingredients that you know you may have heard already that can help with hair growth i, I don't think they are 100 percent proven to help with hair growth but maybe they can help or stimulate or can work as some kind of aid for that um it does have like this minty feeling on the hair which is kind of nice you know if you like that feeling it kind of feels a little cooling and soothing which can be nice um so yeah um i used two up of these products and i don't think i will be repurchasing um it was nice using it though so the next two products i'll talk uh, in a set and they are the christian s signature shampoo and signature conditioner so I've actually used several sets of these shampoo. I really, really like them. They are supposed to be uh, paraben, not only paraben free. Sorry, I don't even know if it's paraben free. Um, they're supposed to be sulfate free, which I am not against sulfates in uh, sulfates and um, surfactants and these kind of things. I'm not against those in shampoos. I think they're actually necessary, especially because I have oily scalp and I think that they're really helpful to kind of like properly 
uh, cleanse my scalp. Um, however, these, although they don't have uh, soul fats, I do think they are, you know, they do a, a decent job in cleansing my scalp and I actually really enjoy them. I enjoy the smell, I enjoy the texture of them and I think you know, they have not been bad for my hair, if you can say that. I actually am planning on making a review of this brand, Kristen S. Uh, if you're interested, please let me know in the comments. Tell me if you're interested because I plan on doing that soon and it would be really helpful to know that it's something that you're also interested in watching because I do think Kristen S is uh it's considered to be a drugstore brand but it e that is kind of like a professional um professional drugstore brand but um i think it's a it's a really interesting brand to look out for and i have really enjoyed these sets the shampoo is really has like a really nice rich creamy foam and the the conditioner is also very creamy and leaves the hair nice and detangled and smooth so i do like them both i already have another set in my shower that i have been using and so to tell you that i i really do enjoy it and i do have oily oily scalp and so it it works for me but maybe if you have like even oilier than me i'm not sure you will enjoy it and it is slightly you know heavy on my hair because i have very very fine hair um however like i said i have enjoyed it i already have another set that's in the bathroom this hair care product you'll probably see in all the empties some sort of product like this which is dry shampoo this one is an old one from batiste which is supposed to be uh heavily volume so this is not the original version and it's supposed to kind of like give you more volume and i didn't love this one because i felt like it made my hair a little bit too stiff Whereas the original one, you know, does absorb the oils and but it doesn't leave like the hair feeling so stiff. And that's why this one is not my favorite. I actually like the Batiste, but I like the original version. I think it works really well. It's, I've been using it for years and I have one already in the bathroom. Let's move on to body care. So I have this body wash which is it's it's from nukes it's actually called face and body ultra rich cleansing gel i love this brand nukes it's a french pharmaceutical brand well pharmaceutical i don't know if that's the right term but it's sold in french pharmacies or it's considered to be a french pharmacy brand and i really like this range rev de miel so it basically is infused with honey and honey has different you know beneficial properties for the skin it's a, it has um antimicrobial but it's also soothing and hydrating it's a really nice ingredient and it also works really well in in skincare and um, it also has sunflower which i believe to be kind of nourishing and moisturizing for the skin I really enjoy this product because this one you can use on your face and your body and it's one of those multi-purpose products that you can leave in your shower you don't have to think about getting a separate cleanser for your face but you can just use the same for your face and for your body and i found that this one was really nice for the face it really left the skin you know soothed cleansed properly but without feeling stripped so it really works really well and for the body i mean it was just really really nice product and i love the smell of it, it smells it smells like honey but you know not like in the with the honey that you eat you know so it has like a little bit i don't know how to explain it but it's nice it smells it smells really good i love the smell of this the next product that i have is this one it's a body lotion from nivea it's the firming q10 plus vitamin c firmer and elastic skin in 48 hours and 48 hours moisture so this one is for normal skin I really like this packaging it's very simple everybody knows about Nivea and I really like this packaging because it has the pump which just makes it so much more easier than when you have to be like always doing this and um, the pump is really really nice and this is a classic really you cannot go wrong with using Nivea moisturizer on your body it's really nice I love it and I love anything that has you know anti-aging properties also for the body I think that's pretty great. So I'm always going to be, you know, looking looking out for that and I'm always going to, you know, picking those kind of products. I really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it 100%. And yeah, I'll definitely be buying this again. I really enjoyed it. Let's move on to skincare for the face. 
and I'm gonna start with this is another product from Nux, which is called the Very Rose Refreshing Toning Mist. It hydrates, soothes, completes makeup removal, and and it's got rose floral water and skin respect complex i don't know what that's supposed to mean but anyway i really really love this this is just like a very simple toner i love using toners after cleansing my face not to complete the cleansing process but more to start the the treatment process of my face to kind of like um provide the skin with with to start the hydration process better so it, i find that are really helpful for that to start the hydration process but also because when you have that humidity in your skin it really allows for the rest of your skincare serums and creams to kind of penetrate better so that's why i love using toners and this one it smells really good it was it's not like a really strong floral smell it's a very subtle uh, floral smell and it just leaves the face feeling really really nice and, and i just love this product i definitely want to get this product again and i also like that it's a toner that you you have it in a pump like a mist so, sort of style i think those are so much better than those that you have to kind of pour into a cotton round that can be a little bit more wasteful of the product and this format is just so so much better in my opinion the next product I have is another face toner or face mists, if you will, and it's this one from Event. This is another classic. It's their Air Thermal, their thermal water, and I really like this product. It's really amazing. It's really helpful for kind of soothing the skin, especially when your skin is kind of like irritated. I think this is really helpful for that, kind of soothes the skin. It's supposed to be, thermal water is supposed to be kind of calming and soothing for the skin. So that's why you have them. And I really enjoy using this after cleansing, again, as a toner, as a way to start the hydrating process of my skin, but also as a way to kind of help that my skincare uh, penetrate better in my skin. So this is a great one, definitely recommend this, and I'll definitely be repurchasing this one. Now I have three sunscreens. Um, let's see, which one should I talk first? Okay, let me talk about this one. This is a brand called Hello Sunday. And it's a SPF 40 and it's called the one that's a serum, Day Drops. It's called Day Drops, yeah, moisturizing skincare. So this one comes in a dropper. I thought I really wanted to try this concept. It's a very small uh, packaging though. Let me see how many mils is it? It's 30 mils. It's a very small pack, um, very small, it's a very small sunscreen. So this lasted like, very little because you know if you if you use the amount you should be using this does not last very long i really enjoyed it i think it was nice but i think that it was just too moisturizing for me i have i have sort of combination skin so really oily skin a little bit oily skin in the t-zone a little bit drier on the sides and i found that this was a little bit too moisturizing for me Although it worked really well on the makeup and it felt really nice, it is not a product that I think I would like to repurchase. So just for you to know. The next sunscreen, this one I absolutely love. This is the Eucerin Oil Control Dry Touch Sun Gel Cream Ultra Light. This I love, love, love. I think this is one of the nicest uh sunscreens that i've ever used and i really like it because it is like a gel form and it just sets you in your skin you do not feel it does not feel greasy at all and it goes really well under makeup absolutely love this product i could not recommend this enough it's a really really nice sunscreen um yes and it's from Elserine. i definitely want to repurchase this one the next sunscreen that i have is this one this one is from la roche posay it's all you know ugly because it's been for a while um here so this is the la roche posay antilios age correct and i cannot read the rest of it because it's gone off but i'm gonna find the full name and i'll leave it uh in the description box so this as far as i remember this is supposed to be like your moisturizer with sunscreen but it also has the uh, ingredients that are going to be anti-aging and help with dark spots and wrinkles and, and things like that um i this did not work very well for me it just peeled under makeup and that was really really annoying so um 
I passed it on to my husband. My husband was using it. He enjoyed using it. I think it's a really good product. The only issue is that it does not go very well under makeup. They have a tinted version. I don't know if I really would like to try that because I'm a bit afraid of tinted, <laughs> tinted SPFs. I don't know. I think that they can be a little... I don't know. If they, if they don't match your skin color, it can be a little bit weird. Um, but I don't know. Let me know if you've tried the tinted version. But this is not a bad product, but as I said, under makeup, it did not work very well for me, so I will not be repurchasing it. So let's move on to, I have one serum. So this is a vitamin C serum. This is from Beauty Pie. It's called their Super Active Capsules, Pure Double Vitamin C and Vitamin E. Comes like this. If I can, I will insert a clip of me using the capsule because I have, it's obviously empty. I have no capsules left and I don't have a replacement. Um, this is a pure vitamin C. I think the percentage is 10 and it's pure vitamin C, pure l ascorbic acid. Um, so I'm not going to be going deep into how l ascorbic acid or vitamin C serums work, but, um, this was, this is a really nice one. I used this for nearly a year, the same vitamin C, and I really liked it because I thought it was like a really potent one. Um, however, I think that although it, yeah, definitely it was potent. Um, I started getting a little, little bit of irritation after the summer, like in the sort of like in the fall, autumn, uh, I started getting a little bit of irritation and I felt that this was kind of too strong because the thing about uh, vitamin C, pure al ascorbic acid, is that it needs to be, it's, or need, not necessarily needs to, but it, it is usually formulated in low pH, which can be irritating for the skin. And because I was going through this irritation, I really, st I stopped using this to kind of prevent further irritating my skin. But it is a very nice vitamin C. I love that it's in a capsule because, you know, it's just so easy and it keeps it fresh. And I, I just really, really enjoy this product. And I'm wanting to do a review on Beauty Pie. If you're interested in that, also please let me know in the comments because I have used a lot of their products and I really want to make a review. Um, if you have any of your, if you, if you've tried any of their products, let me know which one you want me to review. And maybe I've already used it so I can, I can give you a, a good review about it. Um, so this is a very nice product. I definitely recommend it. But if you have very sensitive skin, I would I would be cautious because it is, although it's only 10%, it can still be irritating because of the form of the vitamin C, which is pure l ascorbic acid, which is generally considered to be a little bit more of the irritating form of vitamin C. Anyway, this is a great one. I definitely think I would, would repurchase this in the future, definitely. Ah, okay. I have one eye care product, and this is from this Greek brand called Apivita. It's called Be Radiant Signs of Aging and Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. So I really enjoyed using this cream. I bought it when I was in the summer in, uh, in Lisbon. I've been there in the summer, and this I found in the... In the pharmacies you can buy this product there i don't know if it's available here in the uk but i thought it was a nice eye cream it does have some nice ingredients but it, and it was really lightweight and all that but it wasn't one that kind of like impressed me i tend to have like very dry under eyes so i like eye eye creams to be to be very moisturizing, but to also have kind of ingredients that are going to be anti-aging. Uh, they're gonna help with that, but I definitely need them to be very moisturizing. So I like them. The gel forms, I can enjoy them, but I definitely do like ones that are a little bit more creamy, if you will, if that makes any sense. So it was a nice one. If you've tried anything from this brand, um, let me know what you think, because it's just an interesting brand, I suppose. So now I am going to move on to some lip products. I have three lip balms. <laughs> Let me start with this one. This one is from Aven. It's called the C. It's from their line. It's Cica, Cica Fet. Cica Fet. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, let's leave it there. And it's called Restorative Lip Cream. It is actually like a cream. It's not so much like a balm. It's like a very thick cream. And I really like it. I really like it, uh, especially like for doing my makeup during the day, like in the morning, sorry. I really liked applying this uh, as I was doing my makeup to kind of like make sure that my lips were smooth 
um, at the moment that I was going to put my lipstick. This one is definitely it's like a cream, so it feels it feels it feels really good. I really I really enjoy this one. And then I have my two favorite lip lips lip balms in a stick. Lip balms in a stick. That's right. So one is from Cardali. And the other one is from Nux. The Nux is in their in their line Rev de Miel, so it's probably infused with honey as well. And then you got the Caldali, which is the lip conditioner. And I really like both of these. This one is this one feels a little bit like so this one has a little bit more oil than this one. This one feels a little bit more oily, so it has a little bit more of a slip on the lip. This one is not as slippy, but definitely equally very very conditioning both of them leave the lips really nice and soft and i like using this kind of lip balms especially in the morning during the night i like to use something that comes like in a jar that's a little bit thicker that's just gonna like really stay on the lips uh, until the next morning however these are the kind that i like using throughout the day and especially when i start getting ready for the day then I'm doing my makeup. I like to use a little bit of lip balm and I like this to these All kind. Right. I'm going to move on to makeup and I have two eyebrow pencils and I have, let's see. So the first one I have is from this brand called MUA Makeup Academy and uh, it's called Brow Define Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. And uh, it's these kind that are really thin and that you know they're very precise the problem with this product which i did use is that it's not the right brown it still has a little bit here i can show you it's not the right brown it's kind of like this reddish brown um so i didn't love it on my eyebrows i probably just picked up the wrong color i think it's a good product um but it's just the color wasn't the amazing wasn't the best for me so instead i just used it up i used it as a eyeliner i like to often use you know sort of like a, a brown eyeliner and then i use like an eyeshadow on top to to kind of smoke it out or just to make the eyeshadow look better or enhance the eyeliner if that makes any sense um so this one it, it was nice it was nice but you know i can't say anything else special about it it's an eyebrow pencil and then another one that i have is from elf and it's their ultra precision brow pencil it's another one of these that has a spoolie on one side and then it's like it's really thin although this one from moi is a little bit thinner than the one from elf and this one from elf i really enjoyed it is in the color it's so 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 tiny it's on the lid here the color is called neutral brown which is really good it's a perfect color for me and i really like it because it doesn't melt it's kind of like not too creamy but not too dry and it just it just it's a really nice affordable eyebrow pencil i think that you know you don't want to be spending too much on eyebrow products especially like these pencils because they don't last much they i think the longest they last is like two months maybe and if you buy like a really expensive one you have to be buying it every two months it's kind of like you know can be quite pricey and so this one from nyx is really really good and affordable i really enjoyed it so i'll definitely recommend it and i would definitely repurchase it so now i have i'm gonna finish the video with three primers <laughs> so i'm going to talk about this one this is this is actually like a sample but it's like a huge sample of uh, this primer from pixie by petra and it's called flawless beauty primer i don't know if it has any oh whoops it has a tiny little bit left here okay let me show you and it's rather old but it's this kind of primer it's like an illuminating primer and it's super nice. I use it a lot because I like this kind of primers that give you a little bit more of this luminosity. And then you can also just dab it on the high points of your cheek afterwards if you want to kind of give you a little bit more, you know, light in the high points of the face. It's a really nice one. I don't know if I would repurchase it. Um, actually, I didn't repurchase this. This was gifted when I purchased something from, from uh, Pixie. Um, but it's definitely a very nice one if you like these kind of primers that are illuminating and you know just make your skin look a little bit more hydrated and luminous so this is a nice one the next one i have is this one from nyx it's their 
honeydew makeup this is a really interesting one i think it has a little tiny bit that i can't get out it's a, it is a, like this gel that is kind of like very sticky so it really makes the skin like kind of sticky like honey really and it's really great for making the makeup really adhere to the skin and it also does give a little bit of that radiance it's kind of like more of a fresh radiance rather than illuminating that is like the one from pixies like more illuminating this one is more like radiant more fresh more like hydrating more dewy as the name says um it was really nice i really enjoyed using it uh, i don't know if it's my favorite but it, i think it's one that was actually really popular um yeah i think that's all i can say <laughs> My last product is this primer from YSL. This is called, let me see, what is it called? Oh, it doesn't say here. Touche Eclat Blur Primer, that's what it's called. It's a Touche Eclat Blur, Blur Primer. And I'll be frank with you, I've had this for a number of years and it's the one I used for my weddings. The first primer that I ever bought was this one from YSL and I absolutely love this product. This is definitely different. I don't know if it, some, anything will come out. I've been trying to squeeze everything out. But, mm -mm. Let me see, if I do this, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna take some like this. So this one is fundamentally different from the others that I've showed you. This one is more like a silicone primer and this one is really great. See how it blurs everything? This one's really great, particularly for that, to kind of blur the pores and fine lines. It's really good for that. And I think it's a great one for if you have oily skin. I think it's a very good one. And I love it. I really wish, uh, I really want to get this product again because it is truly one of my favorite primers. Uh, it works very well, helps the makeup last long, helps the makeup go on much more smoother, but also really blurs out the pores and the fine lines. Especially I have like more like these kind of, I have a little bit of pores here that I just don't like. Um, and also kind of helps the skin stay kind of matte in that area when, when after you powder it. And it will also help the makeup, you know, stay in place and last longer. So that's why I really like this product and I definitely recommend it. So those are all the products that I finished that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any particular product that stood out to you that you wanna know more about. Um, or if you've used any of these products that I've mentioned, what are your thoughts? And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.